don't see this drug problem continue as harshly as it's been. Linda Donovan had had enough. There had been several break-ins throughout all of Chittenden County, really. And then when it hit our store, it just was like, I'm done. After the 2015 break-in at the Lucky Spot convenience store she and her husband own, a drug overdose right outside, and the arrest of a Richmond man for selling heroin, she decided she had to do something about opiate addiction in her community. So I started stomping my feet and called a town meeting and um, said, let's fix this or at least, you know, be a part of trying to make it better. One of the people at that meeting was Dr. Richard Bernstein. They asked the town what could be done at a local level to respond to the national opioid crisis. And that got me to thinking that uh, I have some time now that I'm semi-retired, uh, what can we do? Dr. Bernstein, a member of the Richmond Rescue Squad for the past six years, wanted his fellow EMTs to help too. The first part of our work was uh, making ourselves known to the town. So he proposed creating the Richmond Rescue Opiate Task Force. Now they're up and running. And I've gotten four calls now from uh, addicted young people. They managed to get a drug take back box donated for the town offices and set up needle exchange programs. Mike Shirella says they may help addicts connect with people who can help them into recovery. It gives people a way to contact healthcare professionals um, and hopefully seek treatment if they're interested in treatment. Shirella nominated the semi-retired physician to be a Red Cross everyday hero. It's an honor Lucky Spot owner Linda Donovan says he greatly deserves. He's retired. He can go in tropical places and, <laughs> you know, and just enjoy um, what he's worked so hard in life for. And instead he comes to this meeting and he says, geez, I'm going to start working full time and then some. However, Bernstein will only yes. accept it with certain conditions. I do accept it uh, on behalf of the Richmond Rescue Squad, who every day I believe are local heroes in addition to other first responders who, uh, as you know, um, work in very difficult and dangerous times to help people. But that shouldn't surprise anyone who knows him. Vanessa Mishania, NBC5 News.